We are getting into a big project. I'm still on my plant binge. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I am excited to talk to you guys today. I feel like it's been a long time since I just did like a chat catch up style video. I just thought I'd do a little recap of Christmas and what's happening for 2021 and just sort of give you guys a little update and then also share some things that I've been loving. If you're new, my name is Lynette. I live in Sarasota, Florida. I'm a Mennonite mom and I share a lot of things related to home and lifestyle, family, um, decorating, you name it. So I feel like the Christmas hustle and bustle is kind of over with. Uh, we had a really, really good time. Some of my family is actually still around. Uh, we've had a lot of company. We've had a lot of fun eating. We have just, it's been really busy. Down here in Sarasota, it's very busy over Christmas and New Year's. There's just a lot going on. There's a ton of tourists here. And if you're in the Mennonite Amish community, there's just a lot of maybe mingling and connecting with people and things like that. So Christmas Eve, we spent just our family. Um, we had time of opening gifts and everything. And then Christmas Day, we hosted it here with um, my side of the family. Nick's family was not down here for Christmas. So we're sad that we couldn't be with them, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, and then Christmas Day, we had like a name exchange. Um, we went to the Pinecraft Parade, which is always a tradition around here. Um, it's always fun. And I, we've just, we spent a lot of time like playing games through the last couple weeks. Uh, we've been enjoying things like Scrabble. We had a rousing game of Scattergories the other night. Number eight, take oh. a bath. What? <laughs> That's a fast yeah. soak. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a shower would be easier. We've had a really, really good time, but I am ready to get back in routine. The boys are back in school. They had a really long break and everything. Nick is gone for a couple days. He went up to get some furniture for the Haiti benefit auction that is coming up here in a week or two. So he'll be gone for a couple days, but I do have uh, some help just babysitting. I have like a lot that needs to be done this week. So uh, I also want to share a Bible verse with you guys that uh, kind of stood out to me here the other week. After our church service, we had the Dave Miller family sang and uh, the dad preached a message. It was very good. And he was talking about world events and COVID and just everything that's going on right now, which I'm not going to get into. I typically don't really get into that on my channel. I did want to encourage you because this verse encouraged me. It's in 1 John 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Isn't that the truth? Because so many times there is so much fear pushed on us. It's not from God. God is bigger than all of that. So we need to remember that uh, and have our anchor in God and not in you know, ourselves or what's happening. And just remember to put our focus back on God and realize that he's still in control of everything. He's got a plan. And I know it's easy for us to forget that. If you're struggling with this, just remember that God is greater. I'm thankful for his forgiveness and that he lives in me and that I have something to cling to. I have something to put my trust in and my, my anchor in. Do I fail in trusting and getting discouraged and whatever? Yes, for sure. Like I am nowhere near perfect. Just remember to put my focus on Jesus instead of things that are going on in the world. So I hope that will encourage you guys in some way. Um, also, as far as a little life update, we are getting into a big project this year <laughs> or this spring, I guess. Uh, it's actually started already. We are in the process of flipping a 3000 square foot home. We have a friend who's an investor and he bought the house and he's kind of partnering with us. So basically we're going to be doing the project managing and designing of the home and we'll then hopefully sell it. Hopefully by spring. I'm not sure yet on the time frame of how long it'll take us, but hopefully a couple months we should have it wrapped up. But that is a big project for us. But this is something that's it's a little scary for me, but I'm also really excited because I feel like this could maybe be the start of some dreams that we've had for a long time. So I do plan on filming it. I am a little unsure <laughs> as to how that all will work out, but I'm planning to probably not be sharing the videos until we're closer to being done. That way I can kind of put them all, you know, in order and you don't have to wait in between and hopefully you guys will be 
enjoying that and I do have an Instagram page. Um, it's called Urban Oaks Design Co. That is the name of our business, I guess. We are just kind of thinking ahead, I suppose. And so I have an Instagram page dedicated to things like that. If you wanna see some more like real time footage, I guess, of this type of thing, you can follow me there if you want to. So I'm also at Lynette Yoder underscore on Instagram. So uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Oakland is turning one next week. I cannot believe it. Like how is she one already? Oh, but anyway, she's starting to walk. It's the cutest thing and her hair are like curly. It's so cute. Uh, Caden actually, my oldest used to have curly hair when he was little, but like before we gave him much of a haircut. So I'm really curious to see if uh, she'll keep the curls. My sisters both have curly wavy-ish hair and it also is in my husband's family. Um, you may occasionally see little curls here on the side of my head, but that would not be because of me having curly hair. It's more because of me growing in my baby hair. So <laughs> I kind of feel like I have a fringe around my hair, but if you're a mom, you probably know what I'm talking about. So I guess it's just gonna be how it is. So I'm trying, I'm working on that. I'll tell you a little bit more in a little bit, but boys are back in school, as I said, and they, it's definitely good. I am ready to get back in routine. They need more to do. I feel like when they're here, there's just a lot of downtime. And if you live in town, there's just not a lot for them to do. So I'm excited that uh, they can have, go stretch their brains again. And I'm just thankful for teachers and a good school that we can send them to and everything, so. Uh, I think I'm gonna get into some of the things that I have been loving recently, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you don't, I guess you can skip out. Um, I will have links for as many of these things in the description box as I can. As I mentioned, I have these baby hair. So I'm gonna zoom up the camera here a little bit and see it better, but anyway. I've been, for the last couple months, I've been trying the shampoo by Monet. And if you guys use this, let me know. This is their volumizing revitalized conditioner and the Renew shampoo. This is what my, be my husband's cousin's wife. She's the consultant, but I'm buying through her or whatever. Uh, she recommended this. She's been, had been trying to get me to try it for a long time. And I finally broke down and did it because it's, it's a little bit more expensive. Um, she also sent me some like root, spray that you can kind of, I think it like stimulate and stimulizes like the growth or whatever. And I started it back in October, I believe. And I do feel like I've been noticing a difference. And like this stuff is, there's still a ton in here. You don't need a lot, like a little tiny amount. So it really does last a long time. I've really been liking that. Another thing that I've been giving the boys since I think the beginning of school are these uh, Plexus vitamins, the X Factor Kids vitamins. You take two a day. Just with all of the stuff going on, you know, you do want to try and build your immune systems and and it's it's really, especially if they are going to school, you are exposed to more stuff. But honestly, they've really not been sick since taking this, as far as I can remember. So I would say it's, it's doing a good job. Either that or we're just staying pretty healthy. I got these. I, I will leave a link down below if you want to try them out for yourself. Also, since last year, I've been trying to kind of slowly get away from like as many chemicals and stuff. I'm not like super intense about it or anything. Like I'll still have some other products that are probably not clean, but like I've been slowly trying to transition. If you're doing that, I know that it can be kind of expensive. So I've been trying to make like little changes, I guess. So last year at some point, I decided to try Branch Basics. Um, and this is what their product thing looks like. Basically, I think it's maybe kind of like Young Living's, uh, like their concentrate that they mix. So you, it has like, you have like a big bottle and then you have different amounts. Um, they'll send you like bottles. So this is maybe for the window cleaner and they'll tell you how much concentrate to put in here and then how much water. So it's, that's, basically all it is, like it is um, no nuts or tree nuts, hypo, hypo, hypoallergenic, non-toxic. By the way, I'm not sponsored here. <laughs> Just putting that out here. Uh, there's no alcohols or synthetic preservatives. Uh, so it's very, very safe. Um, it is chemical free and whatever. So I've actually really been enjoying this. You can also do laundry soap. I'm out of it at the moment and I actually need to order some more of this, but this is like my second bottle and it's getting close to done. So I've been using this stuff combined with um, my, my e-cloths. 
Um, and I really love Eclots, um, which are these, or sort of like Norwex, I guess, but these are a little cheaper. But I've been loving these. I use these a lot. These you just clean with water if you want, and you don't need to use anything else because of the uh, what's in the fibers of the cloths themselves. So um, I'll use this as well as the e-cloths and stuff. So I'll leave a link. I think I have like a $10 off referral code for you if you want to try this. And this will last you a good long while. Like these bottles, these will last you a while unless you're like really heavy on the cleaning. Probably my all time favorite thing for the last, I don't know, couple months is my Breville. I've literally been enjoying it so much and I know I keep talking about it, but I dreamt of having one for a pretty long time and then Nick surprised me last fall and got it for me and I have been having so much fun making iced coffee, espressos, lattes. I'm I'm getting better at the latte art, you guys. This is probably my, my all-time favorite uh, thing and it probably will continue to be that. I have been using some of Beauty Counter's products since last year. Nothing like consistently, but recently I've decided to just kind of get into it a little bit more. I have been aware that I need to try and take care of my skin more. I mean, I'm getting close to 32 years old and I've never really been one to use a lot of my skin, honestly. Obviously the older we get, the more sunspots I get and wrinkles and whatnot all. So, uh, my skin has been kind of breaking out a little bit this whole year. Like I feel like since Oakland was born, it's not like, extremely visible. It's just, it's kind of there and it bothers me. This beauty counter bans like over 1500 ingredients that are like on their never list. I do like that they have cleaner, like safer ingredients in here. And I've really been enjoying their um, counter match regimen. Now it is a little bit of an investment and I decided that I'm gonna just become a consultant. I've also really enjoyed their, it's the Counter Plus All Bright Vitamin C Serum. And I think it has like turmeric and some things like that in it. They also have like a sunscreen. I have more products in my cabinet. I'm hoping that this will kind of help my skin out and maybe help me kind of preserve it a little longer. So um, anyway, they have a lot of good products there. I'll leave a link if you're curious. Um, they also have a YouTube channel if you wanna go check those out. Okay, switching gears a little bit. I got a really fun print here a little while ago. This is, it's like printed on really high quality um, photo paper and it's from the Juniper Print Shop and you can find them on Instagram. They have a website too, I'll try and link it. I think this is their Otis print and I don't know, I just I really love it. And it, this is like a 16 by 20 size so I'll probably put it in a frame. I actually have one but I didn't put it in here for the video because it would kind of glare and you couldn't see the picture right anyway. So I just grabbed like a cheaper frame at Target and I was hoping it would fit in my shelves back here, but I'm not sure yet if I can or not. I'll put it somewhere. Uh, also, I am loving this, the Home Edit. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with the Home Edit. I know that they have a series on Netflix. I'm not on Netflix, but uh, they're all over the place. You can find them on Pinterest and stuff. But anyway, I saw this at Marshall's the other day. This one was $16.99. And it is such a fun book to look through. Um, there's just like so many different like ideas. They are really into like the rainbow coloring, uh, how they organize and super colorful. It's just really fun. And I'm into that mode right now of wanting to get like rid of things and organize and everything. So that one and then another book is this one it is by sid and shay mcgee by studio mcgee i am sure a lot of you guys have heard of them i actually listened to the their this book on audio uh like audible and i thoroughly enjoyed it i just like drank it in i feel like it kind of helped me even just in like as we were thinking about the whole flip house and everything it was kind of before we were getting into that but like i just i oh I just like got so much knowledge and it was so interesting. And I know that some people complained because, oh, it's not a coffee table book. And I got kind of annoyed at that. I'm like, it's not supposed to be a coffee table book. It's supposed to be a story. And it literally tells their whole story of how they got where they are. And just, it's, it's such a good read. And if you're like me, I don't get a lot of reading done but you could listen to it if you want to. So this is, I just, I saw it at uh, Home Goods. I was like, oh, I have to get it even though I've read it. It's something that I'd like to keep around. Plus it's really pretty to look at. So it's just, you know, it's a regular size book. So definitely recommend that one. I have another thing here. 
This is a clothing item. So this is the Leah skirt from the Main Street Exchange. And if you guys watched uh, last fall sometime, I had gotten a, a burgundy or like a maroon colored skirt from Inherit Clothing Company. But it just, I said, I think I can maybe wear it, but it's just too small. I actually ended up giving it to my cousin the other night. I was like, I just can't, I can't squeeze into it. My mommy tummy is still not where it could be. Uh, and so I really still wanted a burgundy skirt and they didn't have like another size in that maroon one from Inherit. So I ended up getting one from Main Street. And this one is really, really comfortable. They typically do stretch a little bit. So I would say don't size up for sure. I mean, they might, they might be a little tight, but then as you wear them, they'll tend to like stretch a little bit. So keep that in mind. Um, I would definitely say it's probably true to size for the most part. And because it's so stretchy, you can kind of get away with it if it is a little bit tighter. So this is, I think the 26 inch length. So it comes like below my knees. I really, really love this, this one for sure. Um, I've, in the past, I've mentioned my love of dunkers. These are from Aldi and I just picked some up yesterday. By the way, did you guys ever use their pickup? They just started that. There's like one or so that it's a little far for me, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. They do like pickup um, through Instacart. You can also do delivery if you're close enough. I'm not close enough to do delivery, but I can do free pickup. And boy, was that nice. I mean, he came out just as I got there. Anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling, but I love these dunkers. They're perfect to go in coffee. Like you just dip them. Like they're not, they're good by themselves, but that's not what I usually eat them with. I always eat them with my coffee, usually in the morning or something. If I have them on hand, I love them. So if you've never tried them, do it. It's, I don't think you will regret it. So, uh, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanna talk about. I miss anything? Oh, I guess I could show you a plant because I'm still on my plant binge. <laughs> this is a, a Hoya. Uh, I actually gave my sister one like this for Christmas. Not very fast growing, at least not in my experience. Uh, but these, I got at your farm and garden here in Sarasota. I've really been enjoying this. I do see some little new growth here. So I just have it like right inside my window here. I should plant it in my pot that I got for it. I actually found a small local shop uh, here in town. And I got in two of these like little nesting bowls. And it's just a really fun like thing. So one that's smaller than this one. Um, I don't know. I just like su supporting small shops if I can. Um, so that was like a local thing. And then I just have this one in here, but I should, I should actually plant it in here. Um, probably, but anyway, I really like, like these and I still just love plants. I have literally been talking for so long. So if you're with me here at the end yet, bravo. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around. Oh, just forgot I want to show you something this look at this guys I got this in the mail here the other weekend um, it's my YouTube play button for passing a hundred thousand subscribers so thank you guys so much if you have subscribed to my channel even if you're just subscribing or if you just recently did or if you've been with me uh, since the end I actually met someone on the beach the other day she said she's been with me since I had like 2,000 subscribers like what in the world you just Oh, that's just amazing to me. So if you're, you know, one of my first time uh, subscribers, thank you so much for sticking with me for four years and counting. So this is, it was just kind of a fun little thing. I'm going to leave it at that. I've talked long enough and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these kind of videos, let me know. Just give me a thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me and stay tuned for more videos. I am excited to bring you guys some more content, um, especially like home related stuff. I've got some decorating things coming and things like that. So thank you all for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.